Hi everyone. So in this video we will learn how you can convert JSON string to JavaScript object and a JavaScript object to a JSON string. So let's get started. Let's have a basic structure here. Link to a style sheet. Add a script file here. Let's have a container here. And we need two div elements. One will be on the left hand side, other will be on the right hand side. So left hand side will have three input boxes and one button. So it will be JSON to object. Give it a ID. It will be BTN JSON OBJ. We need three input elements, so give it an ID of username, placeholder will be username. Just copy and paste two times, make it email, make it age, same goes for these IDs, so it will be email and it will be H. Now just copy this part, paste it here. So it will be object to JSON. Same goes here. We need one empty div element. Give it a ID of JSON data. So basically we'll show the JSON data on the click of this button here. Let's style these elements. Go to style sheet, select the container. Display will be flex. Justify content will be space E only. Select left and right div. Display will be flex. Flex direction will be column. Height will be 250 pixels, width will be 250 pixels, the border will be 1 pixel solid black and padding will be 5 pixels. Select the input elements, margin top will be 10 pixels. Height will be 20 pixels. Select JSON data. Padding will be 10 pixels. Overflow wrap will be break world. That's it. Now just save it. Open this file in the browser. And this is the output. Let's start working on the script file. I need dummy JSON data. I already have one. Let me copy and paste. So this is the data. Now select all the elements one by one. So first of all, we'll select JSON to object. So it will be document.pd selector. Select the another one that is object to JSON. Select the username, so it will be document.query selector. Just copy and paste two times. Make it email, make it age, same goes here. Now on click of a button, which is JSON to object, I want to pass this JSON data, set the username field, set the email field and set the age field. So let's add event listener to this, just copy and paste and it will be add event listener, event will be click, so 
let's create a variable by obj to parse json data we'll make use of json dot parse method and we'll pass this string which is data now we need to set these fields so it will be username dot value will be equal to my obj dot username same goes in case of an email it will be my obj dot email Age will be the same it will be my obj dot age now just save this go to browser now when you will click on this button you will see we'll get the username here we'll get the email here we'll get the age here see now next task is convert object to json so when i will click on this button i want to parse these fields form a object and convert that object into a json string and display it here let's go to script file copy this paste it here add event listener it will be click event first of all we need an empty object so it will be my obj now we need to pass data from these fields so this part will go on the right hand side okay and this part will go on the left hand side like this see you can do here now our object is created we need to convert it into a json string for that i'll make use of json.stringify method and pass this object now we'll select the json data and we'll set the inner text to this json string that's it now just save it go to browser now let me type something here for example marks let me put an email it will be marks at gmail.com age will be 56 now when i will click on this button object to json i'll get the json data here see let me modify this a bit let's make it 98 let's make it jane same goes here click again so you can see we are getting a json string here to convert json string to javascript object you can make use of json pass method and to convert javascript object into a json string you can make use of json.stringify method i hope you got the point how it actually works see you in the next video have a nice day